Hey, the Sustainable Mama here, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Um, I just wanted to show you a few things that I got that are kind of along sustainable lines. Um, I didn't end up doing like a how-to video today, because if in your house, if it's anything like mine, I'm just kind of relaxing off of the hecticness of Christmas time and you know yesterday cooking and cleaning and doing all that kind of stuff and um, today the day after Christmas just kind of like just kind of relax so that's kind of what it's been like today and I've kind of been sick too so um, just wasn't in the mood to kind of do an adventure of a how-to today so I'll go over some of my awesome gifts I got this really cool bowl from my father-in-law that is um, made in Spain and uh, it's just really really neat looking and it's going to make a great fruit bowl so I just thought it was pretty and I thought you guys might think so too. So, And I also got, um, this is really cool, this is our organic Himalayan uh, raw white honey and it's like a sustainable farming and all of that kind of thing. Uh, my my in-laws got this for me too and it's really really cool. I'm really excited to try it. I also got this really neat thing. This is um, Himalayan uh, salt and it came with a grater and so you can kind of grate the salt onto your thing but it's a block of salt from the Himalayan region and um, it's supposed to be just like way way better than regular table salt and even better than sea salt because of a lot of the chemicals and stuff that are in um, the oceans so uh, my parents got me a set of I think nine different pots and pans mine were kind of wearing away so I was really excited to get this because Mine were wearing away, and I never really had a really nice set, so this is a really, really nice gift. I only brought one out because I didn't want to bring out all of them. Um, this is, again, from my in-laws. It's a little mini cast iron um, <clears throat> skillet. It's like a cornbread uh, mix, but I'm just really, really excited to have the cast iron skillet, and I, like, almost cried when I opened it. <laughs> it was just, like, a smaller gift. And they didn't know like that I really want to have cast iron skillets um, and like different uh, cast iron products and uh, I don't think anyone really knew I don't think I've told anybody my desire to have cast iron and so it was just really funny that um, I almost cried at such like a small gift to them but it was it was just kind of funny so and this one it looks like the mix was made in USA so that's that's always good to support to support American-made products. I always try to support American-made products as best as I can. This is a, a book I can't wait to start reading. It's Everything Root Cellaring book. Um, we actually have a port, the area under our porch here in this house, it's like an older home, is um, can be made into a root cellar. It's where I do keep my um, as you've seen in other videos, it's where I do keep a lot of my food storage items and stuff. So this will help me learn that and then learn how to better do that and do it correctly. And because I have noticed my potatoes are green and stuff like that. So and then also for my future, for when doing it in the future. This is a home preserving book. So different recipes on jams, jellies and that kind of thing. So I'm so excited to start reading that. And as I get more into canning to do some of these recipes, it should be really fun. This my husband got me and it's a complete guide to needlework. It's like an older book and it has um, stuff from all different kinds of needlework. Crocheting, knitting, um, what is it, cross, cross stitch, quilting, all kinds of things. So I'm really excited to look at some patterns and um, hints in here to help me do better because I, I really am just beginning with a lot of that stuff. I've made a good amount of things, um, crocheting, uh, knitting and sewing but um, I definitely have a lot to learn because I'm very much a beginner and this is another awesome thing my husband got me I like I do have like a tiny little penny collection and uh, he recently learned about 
that. It was just like a random thing I did a while ago and every now and again I like to open back up to it. And recently I've been getting into coins and understanding different words, but this is a 1911 penny. So it's really cool and he was looking up some things that happened in 1911 and that's the year that the Titanic um, first set sail. So this is a really cool penny. It's like cool to think like maybe someone who was on the Titanic uh, was using it. But question of the day, leave in the comments below. Did the Titanic sink on the very first time it set sail or did it, um, did it go like a few times before it sank? Because I'm hoping it went a few times that way. Maybe someone had this penny on the Titanic, but we didn't know. We were talking, me and my husband were talking about it, and neither of us knew. So if you know, leave, leave in the comments below. And this is a really, really cool thing. And um, it's a little tiny needle or um, like sewing scissors. My husband got it for me at an antique store, but it's like a little crane. I don't know if maybe you'll be able to see it better on a backdrop but it's really pretty and then it opens up like this it's just gorgeous so that was a really nice gift that he got for me um, picked out himself and it's just really really pretty and I really like it so those are a few a few of the things I got this Christmas I got so much and I'm just so blessed and my son got so many great gifts and so did my husband and we're just so incredibly blessed with great family and friends and um, we're just we're just so happy that the Christmas season came and went and it was um, it was wonderful here in our house. Leave in the comments below how your Christmas went and, and please let me know what uh, some of your favorite gifts are. Like what one or two of your favorite gifts or any one that was like more kind of on the sustainable or green living kind of um, spectrum. So I hope you had a great Christmas and um, uh, I hope you have a great and happy and safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.